congratulations to Rosario for shocking the world and upsetting J-Rock Williams and becoming the unified champion at 154. So my congrats goes to Rosario and J-Rock on the other hand, he showed that he had a heart of a champion by going out like a champion instead of holding or taking a knee, which that was the clever thing to do at the moment. But regardless of any of that, that's why we love the sport of boxing because it's the theater of the unexpected. I put a poll up last night and 96% up to the last time I checked, had J-Rock William winning this fight. And Rosario just shocked the world because he opened up a gate of opportunities his way. I mean, he has the J-Rock William rematch in the future. It's possible anytime J-Rock William is trying to avenge it. Or even if Rosario might not get on the right path if his career turned right or left depending on how he looks or if he's able to win against the one and only charlo lines only that's the mega fight to make at the moment so if rosario is able to shock the world tonight can he shock the world when he fight charlo to unify the 154 pound division we all know Charlo is the face of the division at the moment, especially avenging himself against Tony in one of the candidate fights of the year. So that being said, Rosario definitely put himself on the map. So let's talk about the fight. But first of all, how y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Peace and blessings upon all my Akis and all my sisters out there. Welcome to Aki TV. If you want to be part of the family, go ahead and subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the man. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these casual fans slash old media. Ironically, when the fight started, J-Rock was on top of his game. You would have thought he about to have an easy night because he was catching Rosario with three jabs in a row almost. I mean, he was countering Rosario's jab with a counter right hand. So he was looking great, boxing beautiful, not getting hit in the process, in a fill out round where he basically controlled the pace of the fight, period. Till the second round came, it was more of the same, till Rosario caught J-Rock with a punch, which caused a cut over his left eye. And after that, it was all she wrote. It was all downhill from then in a linear rate. I mean, J-Rock, was just getting caught with punches flush, getting battered in the process. And keep in mind, guys, the flow of this fight changed in a second as soon as J-Rock William got cut. And you would think he a veteran, he would be able to handle that situation. However, I don't think he was able to see punches coming from the left side. So he was getting battered, like I said, with jabs with power punches. And by the end of the round, Rosario managed to hurt, wobble, and stunt J-Rock William. His cut man during the round, he tried his best to stop the blood from flowing. However, it's only so much you could do. So the third round, J-Rock started boxing a little bit better. However, as soon as the blood started flowing again, I mean, he was just getting battered. And he got to a point where he got stopped in the fifth round or the sixth round, I believe, in an impressive fashion in J-Rock hometown. So Rosario took the W by storm and he's looking to flip it to an M when he faces Charlo, which that's the mega fight that should be taking place next if J-Rock doesn't have a rematch clause. And we all know J-Rock won them belts, upset and hurt, and now Rosario upset at J-Rock. So the next mega fight at 154 is Charlo versus Rosario. Looking forward to seeing that fight. We definitely gonna talk more about this on Split Decision tomorrow live. So call in, tune in, and subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual fans. 
If you want to attend the IQ University and split decision every Sunday, then click on the notification bell to get notified every time you post to go live on split decision. Of course, also follow my man Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. Follow his IG in the description box below and keep it a G. And follow me too at IQ TV and cop at the IQ merch if you want to be dripped up like the IQ B on split decision. Peace and we are and to be continue on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV.